Hey, 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 you guys. All right, listen. So we're going to be doing a lot of self-care in this video. So listen, if you've been struggling, if you've been struggling <laughs> on how to keep it together, this video is going to be just for you. Listen, I am Latarsa Denise, and we talk a lot on this channel about self-care, hygiene, and life advice. So listen, if you need a little motivation to get some things done around the house, to get some things done for yourself, to pour back into you, this is what this video is gonna be all about. So I'm gonna jump right into it first. I just got out the shower, you guys. Just got out the shower. As you can tell, I need to detangle my hair, so we are gonna do that first. But y'all, when I tell y'all, if y'all don't start making y'all self a priority, it's not gonna get done. And here's a little tip that I've been doing that's been working for the last two months. I get up, the first minute I wake my eyes up, I get out the bed and I come and I get in this mirror and I talk to myself. Yes, you heard me right. I get in this mirror and I talk to myself. I tell myself that I'm valuable, that I'm important, that my life matters. Because listen, if you don't think you are important, if you don't think your life matters, I, I just really be, truly believe that you are setting your own self up because it all starts, it all starts, you guys, with what you believe. It all starts with what's going on on the inside in your mind. Forget about what everybody else is doing. And here's another tip. I don't take my phone out to get on social media till after seven o'clock in the morning. That first hour is dedicated to myself I get up and I shower, you guys. I talk to myself, say my affirmations, journal. I haven't journaled this morning because y'all know I got to go to work in another couple of hours. But I didn't journal this morning, but usually I get up and I journal. I try to listen to me a sermon, a short sermon, because y'all, it just always seemed like when I pray and I ask God to sh confirm some things, It'll be the very sermon that I land on and it confirm, confirms something. Y'all let me know if this has happened to y'all. But when I say I'm taking my spiritual walk and my self-care um, self care um, needs to the 10th power. Because listen, if you want to be around for the long haul, honey, you're going to have to take it serious. And when I say take it serious, I'm talking about... I don't talk to people that's going to drain my energy. I don't talk to I don't talk to anybody until I talk to myself in the morning. I got to talk to me and tell myself what I think about me first. I got to get that done before I talk to anybody. That's include my parents. I don't talk to anybody until I've really had a deep conversation with myself. I have to talk to myself and treat myself, and I'll give y'all a prime example. Y'all know I be off on Fridays, and my body just wouldn't let me get out of bed. So I was in bed most all day. And yes, that mom guilt and all that stuff tried to trip up on me, but I ignored that because my body needs rest. I'm working every day of the week. When I get an off day, especially y'all, the moms that are still working nine to fives, you need an off day and you don't need that off day spent running all types of errands because that's what I used to do, y'all. And it used to wear me out because I got to get right back up Saturday and go to work. And I spent all day Friday running errands, cleaning the house. Yesterday, I didn't do anything but sleep in, got me something to eat, showered, watch me some of my favorite movies. And that's what I did. And I'm telling you guys, I'm so energized. Do you hear me? Because when you can get proper rest, you guys, it's something about the older I get, my rest, I don't play about that. And my advice to you guys, stop letting people make you feel guilty because you want to take some rest. You want to get some rest. See, here's the thing. Y'all let me know in the comments. Um, uh, what y'all think about this because I seriously do believe that the more you start to put pour into you, the more the people that are not for you, they start to fall off because they see you're not playing. 
the longer you keep saying yes to all this stuff, when you know you need to really be saying no, that's going to wean out who's really for you and who's not for you. I want this video to encourage you, somebody out there. Spend as much time as you need pouring into you because it's what you say out of your mouth that has an effect on you more so than what somebody else saying. And here's another tip. Keep your personal life private. It ain't for social media. I'm not telling you to keep your relationships a secret. Now, that ain't what I'm telling you to do. I'm saying keep it private. If you want to have a healthy relationship, whether that's um, your boyfriend, your husband, if you want to have a great chance at having a healthy and long-lasting relationship, stop posting your every move, your vacations, your vacations, your anniversary trips. Don't do all that because hear me when I say, and this is not to be negative or anything, but a lot of people ain't happy for you. A lot of people love to see you when you are at your worst end. A lot of people is not happy for you with your newfound joy, your happiness, with your boo and all that. A lot of people ain't happy for you and you get all types of people because these people are strangers, y'all, online. These people, you don't know them and you probably never going to meet them. And just like you guys, y'all are my sunshines, but I probably won't ever meet most of y'all in real life. But at the same time, I want you guys to understand over on this side of the woods, we all about taking care of ourselves mentally, spiritually, physically. And that means taking some time away. I tell y'all all the time, from time to time, I'm going to disappear. Because for my own sanity and for my own health, it's healthy to leave social media every now and again. It's not healthy to keep going, going, going. It's not healthy to do all that. So I want you guys to take away, as you see me clean and do all that today, I want you to take away that it's okay to pour into yourself. It's okay to have some time where you just say, you know what, I need this time to myself. And it's okay. It's not selfish, you guys, to put your needs first. You can't be anything to anybody else if you are always depleted, if you're always um, tired, exhausted. And y'all let me know if, because I've been really thinking about this, if I were to host like uh, I am enough uh, retreat, like a, a two-day event, would y'all attend? Because I'm so serious about every woman believing that she's enough, that you deserve the absolute best. I'm so serious about this. Y'all let me know, would y'all attend? Um, and what would y'all spend for an event like that? Like, it's not going to be like an all day because y'all know I'm believing that. I believe in letting you rest and have fun. But y'all let me know if I host a like an I Am Enough retreat where we can sit and chat, journal, and just enjoy building each other up as sisters. Would y'all would would be interested in learning from me in person? Because y'all know I love y'all online, but would y'all be interested in even if it's just a one day event, would y'all be interested in learning from me? And what would you want to learn from me in person? So y'all let me know, but I'm gonna finish my hair. And then the next clip, y'all will probably see me taking my bed linens off. Cause y'all know that bed linen, y'all gotta change them sheets often. And if you going through the changes like I am and you have them nice where you just having a sweat party, you may need to do it more than once a week, but for the majority, once a week is good because if your bed linen is stinky and if your bathroom, if you got a bathroom in your master bedroom like I do, if it's funky, your whole room is going to be funky. So the next clip, y'all will see me um, changing my bed linen. So. Thank you.
out. So I went ahead and journaled because I was like, I just didn't feel right if I didn't journal and say something to myself. This, this is my like love letter to God every morning. So I love journaling. So make sure you guys, if you haven't, make sure you grab a journal. You can grab my self-love journal or my self-care journal. The link will be in the descriptions. But take some time out and journal your thoughts. That way you'll know when something's not right with you. You'll know when something's off with you if you take the time to journal. So it's like about two days later because I was trying to wait for my my juice glasses to come because y'all know I'm going to show y'all my Amazon and Walmart haul. But anyway, let me drink. I hope y'all are still drinking y'all lemon, y'all lemon liquid chlorophyll water because listen, don't don't be sleeping on this now. Mm. Mm. But anyway, let me show y'all what I got for Walmart first. Walmart was real small. I just got like grocery and fruits and stuff for what I'm about to show y'all. But y'all remember a while back I was telling y'all I wanted to try the Heritage by Mindy McKnight. It's a drink creamy body wash. The Cherry Amber. Y'all, it's sulfate free, paraben free, silicone free, gluten free, mineral oil free cruelty-free vegan. Listen, when I tell y'all, this one is the one that smells the absolute best out of all the ones that they have over there. And I've been dying to try this. So I went ahead and bought the bullet and I got this. And y'all know I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with y'all how it is because y'all know when your girl buys something, she likes to try it. So listen, I got it, you guys. I'm gonna try it for you guys. Y'all know I'm gonna always try it for my sunshines. So I got that and then I needed some more vitamin D3. This is for bone and immunity health. So if y'all are not taking these D3, make sure y'all do, cause as you get older, your bone density gets a little bit, it's not as strong as it was when you were in your teens and twenties, early adulthood. So as you get older, your bone density gets a little bit, I don't know, it decreases for some reason. I don't know, it's just really all about, you know, as you get older, you go back into a baby stage. That's what I feel like it does. Because even remembering when I was um, staying with my granny when I was a child and she had um, breast cancer, it just seems like her weight and her bones were so sensitive. Like, it was so fragile. So it's like as you age and get older, you go back into a baby stage. Like, your skin gets really really fragile all kinds of stuff so take care of your bones your health density you guys listen i know y'all probably like listen how many vitamin supplements you gonna take as many as i need to because i'm trying to make sure i'm around here the long haul so make sure y'all get y'all some um 
B3 um, supplements. But anyway, that's my Walmart haul, you guys. And then I headed on over to Amazon. Y'all, when I show y'all what I'm about to show y'all, I'm gonna try not to holler because like I said, it's Tuesday. I was supposed to do this Sunday. That's why y'all didn't get no video Sunday because I was still waiting on my glasses and my glasses still ain't here. Oh, you, they be making me mad when they say stuff gonna be here one day and then it don't show up. But anyway, I got this little jump drive because y'all know your girl be recording. If you a content creator, y'all comment below. If you a content creator and you be recording videos for TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff, that stuff will eat up your storage on your iPhone. And Apple is always trying to charge you more for storage. So I got smart. I saw this on my For You, for you page on TikTok. And I was like, let me get me an external drive for my phone because they ain't finna get no money out of me because they had me paying like 20 some dollars for storage. I was like, it's no way in the Apple already doing too much with these high prices phone. Now you're trying to charge me extra for storage? Mm -mm. So I went ahead and got me a USB flash drive for my phone. I'm gonna be using that. And then y'all know I re-up on my feminine wash. Y'all know I'm, I'm addicted now. Y'all can't tell me nothing. So I got this one. Yeah, so I got another one of these and I got the one in my bathroom that's halfway full. I'm going to give that to baby girl because she likes it too because I let my baby try it and she likes it. So it's not, it didn't irritate her or anything because you know my baby is, I got a big whole sophomore over here. My baby is 10th grade so I want to make sure her little butterfly is smelling good too because y'all know it's hot in these streets and my baby's got to go to school in this heat. But what I really want to show y'all, y'all look what I got. Yo, I finally got me, I got me a juicer. <laughs> I've been wanting a juice, y'all. Can y'all say, I have not had a juicer in in years. It's been so long because you know, I, I, I do my smoothies all the time, but lately I've been craving for me a, a juicer because I want to do my beets and I want to do my green juice and all that stuff. Like I'm trying to really just, Cause it's time for me to detox and y'all know i always tell y'all i detox once a month for like seven days so this time i want to detox with juice i'm still gonna do my smoothies too but for the next five to seven days y'all comment below if y'all gonna juice with me because i want all of us sunshines to be healthy you see what i'm saying so y'all i can't even get the doggone box open Oh, y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm too stinking excited. Oh! See, I'm going to put the link to the one that I got down below, but it's by Julius. Y'all, I cannot wait. And it's got the little brush. Y'all will see how I... Uh, Y'all will see how I um, juice. Because y'all know I'm going to do a reel for y'all. So y'all can see. But y'all, when I tell y'all, your girl is so doggone happy. Oh, y'all, when I tell Look at this. Oh, y'all, look at this. Y'all, I cannot wait. When I, do y'all hear me? I cannot wait to juice. But the only doggone thing is, I still don't have my juice glasses that I ordered from Amazon. They supposed to be here Saturday. Then they tell me it was coming Sunday. Then they told me it was coming yesterday. How about I get up this morning, get an email, sorry for the late, it'll be here by today, by 10 p.m. Y'all know your girl is upset. Cause when I'm trying to do something, you messing me up. You messing me up and I don't, you know what? It's early in the morning. I gotta get my mind right for, for, for work y'all it's like 5 40 in the morning but i'm upset i'm a little upset i'm gonna eat this banana and that's gonna calm me down huh y'all when i want my stuff i want my stuff do you hear me mm. Mm, mm, mm. but that's what i wanted to show y'all that's why y'all didn't have no video sunday because i was trying to wait and get all this in there. Plus, you know, I'm doing my fall deep cleaning. So, y'all gonna be getting some videos because 
I'm ready to put my cute fall decorations out. I'm not sure if I'm going to be buying. Wait a minute. I'm not sure if I'm going to be. I bought two new gnomes. Because y'all know I love my gnomes. But I'm going to get my fall decoration and decor out and all that. But I got to do some deep cleaning because I haven't deep cleaned since spring. And it's gonna be it's gonna be fall. Fall is right around the corner, so y'all gonna have some deep cleaning, you know, inspiration, so we can all have our homes. Listen, y'all know I always have a little inspiration for y'all, but listen, sometimes I have to pep talk myself because you can get so caught up in social media, the aesthetics and all that, but y'all know I show y'all the real. My apartment. It ain't no, what you call it? It ain't no luxury apartment. I mean, that's what they call it, but it ain't no luxury apartment. The price may be luxury. That's about it. But I remember when I first started doing YouTube and I used to see all the little girlies on YouTube with the aesthetics and all that. And I'm like, Lord, I don't know if I really want to do no videos. My apartment don't look like that you know my apartment ain't <laughs> my apartment ain't got none of that aesthetics <laughs> my apartment just the real plain apartment the prices may be aesthetically luxurious but it used to bother me and i'm, I'm just telling y'all the truth it used to bother me because my apartment is just a normal apartment it ain't no i mean y'all have seen me dealing with mold y'all have seen me dealing with you know just normal typical stuff that happens you know maintenance stuff I mean, y'all seen it all. So I, I finally got to the point a couple of years ago. I was like, look, as long as I'm keeping my place clean, that's what really makes me happy. When my apartment is clean, because I need to show y'all, I done watched like five loads of clothes, y'all, and ask me where them clothes stand. I'm going to put a picture up here and show y'all. And I don't feel bad because I know I'm going to get to it. I don't beat myself up no more. I don't do all that stuff. I got clothes on the couch. I got clothes on the dining table because really a couple of my chairs at my dining table is broke. So we don't really sit at the dining table because ain't nobody finna fall and bust their behind. And then the bar stool, they broke. Y'all, I'm just telling y'all the honest truth. I get a little bit at a time and I'm still upset about my dining table because I got it right around when COVID hit. $1,500 and that doggone table was breaking. From Wayfair, the table was breaking. And then when he was six months old, the chairs was breaking. I'm like, where they do this at? Like, you just don't believe in real wood no more? You don't believe in real furniture no more? You know, back in the day, because my mama still got a dining set from when we was like little kids. Like, I was like fourth and fifth grade. My mama still got that same dining set. It's in the living room. But I mean, of course, she got a new one now. But I'm saying... That was the dining set I had in my apartment when I moved back home. My mama gave me the dining set so I could have some furniture in my apartment. That's real wood. This stuff they making now, yeah. But I'm telling y'all, be grateful for what you have. The only way God can bless you with more is if you take care of what you already have. And I know when God blessed me with my home, my house it's gonna be just exactly what i need because he see i'm taking care of what i have as much as i get frustrated with this apartment i'm grateful i have a roof over my head but at the same time i know this is not the end like i know i deserve better and it's coming it's on its way but i'm taking care of what i have now and that's my that's my tip for y'all today that's my little inspiration for y'all today. Don't let social media get you in a funk because you don't have the aesthetic pleasing apartment or house or home. You keep that little, as my mother used to say before they got their beautiful home that they have now, they had a house that it was leaking in the top and my mama will always be cleaning with her little pine saw and stuff. It always smelled good in there. When I tell you you can get the best sleep, it was leaking in there. It was holes everywhere. And she kept it clean and spotless. And to this day, my home that my parents have now, my mom have beautiful flowers out. I mean, she is just too proud of herself. But when I tell you when God is in the business of blessing you with more, 
he want to see that you can take care of the little bit that he's already trusted you with. So don't allow social media to make you feel bad because you don't have the aesthetically pleasing apartments or luxury apartments. Forget all that stuff. You keep that little place clean as you can keep it. Keep your smell goods in there and don't let social media have you in a funk because it'll get you in a funk. And I'm telling you the honest God truth and I'm a content creator. So sometimes... I have to catch myself because I'm always trying to make sure everything is clean. See, my thing is, I ain't trying to make sure it's perfect, but I like for it to be clean. That's my thing. I like for my home to smell good and clean. And that's my little spiel of the day. But I hope my glasses come today because y'all will see me. If you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, you'll see the reels when I start my seven day detox because y'all know I tell y'all I do it once a month. I didn't do it for August and August is almost over so I probably start beginning of September. Prayerfully my glasses will be here but I want to make sure we all as sunshines are healthy on this neck of the wood, on this side of the woods that we are healthy, living our best life, healthy mentally, spiritually, and physically. That's my hope in my prayer for you guys but stay tuned because you'll be getting a couple of back-to-back -back videos because i'm deep cleaning now i'm fall deep cleaning and i want to make sure you guys have a little inspiration for you know the seasons change and you got to change with it so i hope this video wasn't too long but i did start cleaning but i really wanted to show you guys my haul i love you guys make sure you comment and let me know if you're going to be starting the seven day juice um, detox with me, juice fast or whatever you want to call it. So I love you guys and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.